Okay. A time interpretation. is like your x coordinate starts at x naught and then moves along at speed a. Now that's really, I'm mixing types, x doesn't move, x is the x coordinate, right? So we could say the x position, okay? Make sense? Starts here and moves at speed A actually changes at rate A, okay? So I'm being a little loose with the language, but that goes along with digressions. I don't want to digress down to the set theory that underlies language. Okay? And the Y position starts at Y naught and so forth, right? And moves at speed B. And the Z coordinate starts at Z naught, moves at speed C. Okay? So it's like, okay, X starts at the X coordinate, whatever it is, right? And you move at some speed A along X, right? Y starts at some coordinate, and you move at some speed Y. And I should say, velocity because as soon as I did that I wanted to move in this direction with y. Okay? And if I'm moving with speed, speed is a magnitude of velocity, I can't move in a negative direction if I move at a speed. I, I can move in either direction. So I want to be specific about the direction. A could be positive or negative, B could be positive or negative. So I start here and let's say move this fast in this direction. Now here I started here and moved this fast. Where was I moving faster? diagram? Where did my hand move faster? Were you paying attention? Well, you're paying attention to a lot of things well, and that wasn't one of them. I understand that. I would assume the one that was shorter had the faster move. Okay, yeah, well, I'm, okay, here, I started here and I moved along here, right? I started here and I moved along here. Where was I moving faster? On the negative y. Yeah. Now, is, it gonna, is the graph going to be steeper if I just confine myself to the xy plane? Is the graph going to be steeper because I was moving faster in that direction or less steep? Steeper. Steeper because y is changing faster, right? Now the slope will actually be less because the slope is going to be negative because I was moving in the negative y direction as I was moving in the positive x direction, right? And these are things you want to think about to understand the time interpretation, okay? It's just inter in in interpreted in terms of velocities, okay? If I'm moving faster in the y direction than I am in the x direction, that means the magnitude of b is greater than the magnitude of a, and that means the graph is going to be steeper, okay? Now, maybe it'll be a positive slope, maybe it'll be a negative slope, so maybe it'll be greater, maybe it'll be less, but same idea. And then in the z direction, I'm moving at some speed, right? So in the z direction, I'm moving, oh, and in between speed, right? Okay? So I start here and move it in in between speed. Well, where's that point? Well, I said here, here, and here, so that point is like right here. Okay? Now I move pretty slowly in the x direction, faster in the y direction, but in the negative direction, right? So in a auxiliary xy plane, my motion would be closer to the y direction than the x direction, so I'd be moving kind of in this direction, right? Now, I'm moving in the z direction, but more slowly, okay? More, uh, more slowly than in the y direction, but faster than in the x direction, right? So now if I go to the z-axis, I'm going to move further than I did on the x-axis. 
but not as far as I moved on the y-axis, right? So I'm going to move about maybe over here. So now I'm going to move this far, so now my resultant vector is going to be here. And here's my line. Okay? And in time, if t is your coordinate, to go, or t is your parameter, it goes from negative infinity to infinity, I'll move from way out there on this line to way out there on this line, right? So it's a useful image and has implications for a lot of things we're going to do when things don't move at constant speed. Okay?